Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're unboxing Acer's Windows Mixed Reality Headset Developer Edition. Um, so, obviously it's a dev kit. HP and Acer both make one. They're both only available in the US. This one's $299. HP's is $329. Um, and Three Glasses makes one also. That's available globally. And I think you can still get that one for $399, but it doesn't have the inside-out tracking. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. We're going to see what's in the box. I know nothing about what's in here um, except the headset because I've tried the headset at an Acer event, and there it is. All right, um, I'm going to try to set it up. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do because I haven't even figured out how I'm going to do screen recording with this yet. Um, the recommended system requirements are going to be, by the way, we have HDMI... And we have USB 3. Now, the recommended system requirements are a 6 plus core um, Intel i7 or an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 8 core. So that's the recommended specs for app developers. Now, if you're just using it, it should be lower. And also, obviously, the required uh, specs are, are lower. Now, it also says um, for, now HDMI 1.4 for 60 hertz and HDMI 2.0 for 90 hertz. But the thing is, it also says DisplayPort 1.2, but obviously there's no um, DisplayPort here. So you you will have to be tethered to a PC with um, a somewhat powerful GPU. Now, while, while the CPU recommendations for app developers are quite, are quite high, the, the GPU is... Not really. NVIDIA GTX uh, 980 or 1060, AMD Radeon RX 480 equivalent or greater, um, DirectX 12 capable GPU. So that that's nothing. Um, that's nothing too heavy. Um, there are plenty of of machines that'll work on. I'm going to plug this into a, um, a Lenovo Legion Y920. I was just uh top heavy it's hard to kind of stand it up like that but yeah this is the development edition so these should be coming out I mean, obviously you can buy a development edition right now although i think they're all out of stock online except the three glasses one but they should be coming later this year um i expect that you'll see some announcements around the time of ifa which is the end of um the end of august all right these um these cables, I, it looks like it's not replaceable. I don't know if you could see in there. Um, so that might change with the uh, final model. So you can see that I have my PC set up over here. And we're going to need HDMI port and USB port. So just a bit about the specs. It has two 1440p displays, which is 1440 by 1440. Um, 2.89 inch diagonal display. Um, obviously two of them. Uh, front hinge, which means that you can flip this up. There's a hinge there, which um, you know can be useful. You just flip it off. Said and said, flip it up. <laughs> I said flip it off. Uh, flip it up instead of taking it off. Uh, 95 degrees horizontal field of view. Uh, display re refresh rate of up to 90 hertz, built-in audio out and microphone support through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, um, which, by the way, is great because they don't. There is no headphone jack on like a, a Gear VR, so you can see that in there. Um, this cable does not seem to be removable. I'm not going to mess with it right now, so I'll I'll get more on that later, but um. Inside out tracking four meter cable, which by the way, you can see this cable is very long. You have plenty of room to move around. Um, I imagine that when they do the final models of these, that these cables uh, will be removable. I don't know why there's no display port option. It's kind of disappointing to see USB and HDMI because obviously there's two different HDMI specs supported. And if you don't know what's in your PC, then you can, you would just be able to use DisplayPort and not have that issue. All right, so we should be able to just pl plug it into the PC and 
Windows Mixed Reality Portal will launch and everything will just be fine. I haven't actually been able to get that to work yet, and that's not for lack of trying. So I'll plug in the HDMI here. We'll plug in the USB up, put it in upside down. I can't wait for USB C to be huge. All right, so yeah. Oh, there it goes. It um just so what I had to do um you know, I I've spent quite a bit of time trying to record this already because it really just stayed on the splash screen for that app for a long time. Um like 10 minutes and I ended up having to reboot the PC. So like like I said, this is a a dev kit and you know, not everything's going to be perfect coming right out of the box. Um, obviously, this stuff is coming to general general consumer availability is going to be later this year. So expect that most consumers are going to be using this with the fall creators update. So according to the instructions, now, <laughs> if you watch my unboxing videos a lot, you know that I don't read the instructions. I'll usually make a joke about how it'll make for excellent kindling. And um, I actually had to read the instructions on this one. But that's also because the app wouldn't work for me before. By the way, we, we also have a... Um, oh, so we will have to turn on developer mode. I wasn't sure if that was just going to be um, for if you're a developer. There's also an Acer Companion app, which is the most hilarious thing. All right. Um, and it's meet your new Acer Windows Mixed Reality headset. Click next. Headphone jack. Sensor. Sensor, adjustable strap, there's literally nothing else that we can do except go to acer.com from that link. <laughs> and, that, and that's it. That's the app. And, um, yeah, so that's it. So uh, so let's put this uh, PC into developer mode. And we can go to four developers here. And we just go, might have to restart. Turn on developer mode. Searching for developer mode package. Um, it might ask me to restart. I didn't, I didn't think that I would have to use developer mode for this. I, remote tool is now enabled. So, let's relaunch the app. That should work, right? But, um, yeah, I, I, I really thought that you would just need it for, um, need developer mode if you're actually developing apps for it, which I'm not doing. I just wanted to play with it. So, I will try this out on a PC that has the Fall Creators update enabled and see if that's true also because I wouldn't think that once once this is publicly available that you would still need to be in developer mode unless it's just because this is the developer edition. All right, so we'll wait for this app to load again, which doesn't seem to be happening any faster. Yeah, so so normally the the way this this should work, it didn't quite work that way for me is that you should be able to um, just plug in the headset, this thing's going to pop up and you can get going. And if you're in developer mode to start with, you won't have to worry about turning that on, obviously. Um, check out Mixed Reality News. Get started. Let's get set up. We'll go through some setup right here, including a system check of your computer. Then you'll put on your headset for the finishing touches. Once I do that, I'll probably just cut the video short because I, I really don't know how I could go any further. Uh, we need to install up to 2 gigabytes of software. So... Uh, yeah, right now I'm using the Lenovo Legion um, Y920, which has uh, plenty of specs. Obviously, quad-core HK CPU, uh, NVIDIA GTX 1070. Um, I've, I, I, I know it'll work with the Y720, which has the NVIDIA uh, 1060. My desktop's 1080, so I've got plenty of uh, compatible hardware. Meet your... So this is this is that uh, <laughs> the same stuff from from that companion app. So we're gonna type in my height here, five feet seven inches. I'm not the tallest guy around, I know. So let's show your headset where the floor is, so your experience will feel more real. Okay. So what am I doing? Select start, then stand in the middle of your space with your headset. All right. So I'm right in the middle of space here. I'm kind of walking around while I'm doing this. And we are going to click start. All right. So now hold you at eye level until the countdown is finished. It's right at eye level right now. Now, you're not supposed to put on the headset until, um, until this is all done setting up. So now let's set up a boundary. You're moving so we can see your surroundings. Make sure your space is clear. 
thing is, I'm also tethered to a camera right now with a headset on it. So, ready to start. Select next, then hold your headset at waist height close to your body. Okay, beginning at your computer, walk to the perimeter of your space. Finish back at your computer. All right, we're just kind of uh, wandering around. <laughs> it's it's really more the limit of my uh, my headset strap, but um, yeah. So that that's going to be the perimeter that we're going to define. Can't save that boundary. Try again. Make sure you stick to the outside edge of your space. All right. This looks like it's going to be a pain. Okay, I'm going to cut out the bits that were really annoying, and it was really hard. I mean, if you if, if you have a huge open space to do this, it's fairly easy, but, um, yeah, I, it, that was, that, <laughs> I, I had to try um, at least four times to do it. Um, it'll tell you that the space isn't big enough. It'll tell, it'll tell, it'll just tell you that you can't save the space. It won't tell you why it's, it was, um, <laughs> that was, that was not the, the most seamless experience. But I will remind you again that this is a developer edition, and I assume that this will be much better for consumers. And next up, we are going to plug in a headset with a mic. Um, I really, I gotta say, this is not. Um, I I don't recommend you you try to set this up while recording a video of setting it up. So we're gonna plug in some headphones right here. And we'll just next all done. You'll see the rest of the setup instructions in your headset. So I'm going to cut it there, cut it short there. Um, and um, yeah, I'll have some more stuff coming, coming soon. Hopefully I could do like a, uh, a review. Um, I don't know if the mixed reality portal is going to, going to show exactly what, but anyway, I'll, I'll have more stuff coming soon. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm going to finish setting this up, and um, I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.